What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and I am trying to find a spot for a multi analyzer, <laughs> but it's not going fantastic. I'm gonna have to move this battery over here somewhere. I was debating on putting a wall th across here and having a battery room over there. I don't think it's a bad idea. These are gonna be very vulnerable, in fact, are very vulnerable. Uh, but what are you gonna do for the moment? I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Emergency approach. Oh, well, imps will attack the crash shuttle. So if this dude lands, he's dead. I lose. And if we're ever gonna have any option of doing a royalty victory, um, I can't let that happen, right? So after eight hours, a shuttle rescue will come. Well, they're not gonna last eight hours, and I think they just hang out by the shuttle and wait. I don't believe they like come chill inside or anything. So yes, yeah, it's just not gonna happen. So we need that done. Then we can deconstruct this, build a little more. We'll have plenty of cloth for additional carpeting in that area. All right. This is where the multi-analyzer is going to go. I think I'm going to blow this wall out too. And then we'll put the heater over here. Just for some bit of symmetry here. It's actually neg 131 outside. Her clothing has her get to neg 126. She's probably not even getting cold anymore. So we totally could go mine at this point. I'd like to say. Um, do we want to? Do we? I'm going to have her move this one next. Do we, I don't know. Is it a thing? Is it a thing we should do? <laughs> I don't like power conduit exposed. So I'm going to bite the bullet on that extra steel too and just do that. Um, so we can mine steel. She's going to get a shitty yield anyway. What is this about? Architect. Power. Rat row. What did I do? Where did my battery go? Is this all I had was four? Dear God, what is what have I done? I gotta get this damn thing going ASAP. Because if these plants die, I'm gonna be MAD. Dude. Oh, okay. There we go. That should get him back on the grid. Okay. I have this door forbidden because I don't want her to do something dumb while I'm dicking around moving walls and doing that kind of thing in here. This actually helps us a bit because it double walls this too. Should add a touch of stability and the growth rate on the cotton 280% growth rate is pretty phenomenal why is this at 29% maybe because there's shitty light what if I were to put that in here like right here oh speaking of power conduit going through my space that's fail um I th think we'll do that and end up deconstructing this, but I know it's a waste of steel, but I don't like looking at it, and it actually does reduce the beauty by two, as you can see. So there you go. There's some value there anyway. She can't get that one. That was <laughs> fine. Okay, we need some building. And these can bite the dust. And this one can go. Um, I think I'm going to stuff that heater over there. Whatever. This is kind of boring shit, right? I'm going to cruise, make what changes feel appropriate. And uh, if something, when something goes down, I shall return. Even if we do get another bulk trader at this point, we have nothing to sell. <laughs> we are going to kick it up and make as many d dusters as we can. Although I am putting carpet in, but it looks like two dusters there. Yeah, two it is. Uh, we need to switch back to rice for a little while. There's no food chilling. So also we need to do some bloody cleaning, man. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff sorted out down here. So we're going to go misc and we're going to pop this baby in. How much juice does this use? Doesn't say. Either way, that's where things ended up. Slowly deconstructing and replacing steel walls as well. What just happened there? 
Oh, that was a steel wall. <laughs> Duh. Ah, just not with it. It's fine. I'm thinking about dumping this bed. Um, because it's poor, she's not getting sufficient rest. Does it tell you rest quality? Birth. Oh, birth quality offset. Rest effectiveness 92. If we had something of better quality, it would certainly frustrate me less, but whatever. All right, time for a harvest. Are they all ready? They are. We're going to switch to rice for a little while. I feel like we have seven days of food, but whatever. We also have cooking skill to gather. We're also going to make mm, two dusters out of that. That'll leave us some extra for little carpet scraps. Otherwise, I'm just going to carry on with replacing walls down here, and then we'll go over here and work our way around. Oh, this should be double walled. I don't know if she can move that as it stands. It, it's not the best quality, but turns out you can remove the, both the walls on the side of the door and don't really have any problems. Even with her standing in it, the temperatures aren't. I mean, they went down a little bit, but maybe that was just a fluke. There you go. Next, we're going to reclaim this bunch. Now work my way. I don't know. Whatever. The exterior walls are more important because those are the ones that are occasionally going to get smashed on by buttholes. I guess you can deconstruct that one. Sorry. It was my fault for stepping on your toes. Somebody has asked in the comments that I square off all the corners. <laughs> Uh, I will if I get excess material. It's just not necessary to maintain temperature. And something like that typically could drive me bananas. But, oh man, yeah, she did hold the door open there and it definitely cost us. She's still not even remotely cold. Whatever. We're fine. We're kicking ass. She can't get access to here. Um... I don't think we really need that. I'm going to go and deconstruct these two. With the filth problem. Because she's not cleaning. So well, it's just still slightly impressive. So piss on it. I am down to 160 of those blocks. We should probably keep like 20 or 25 on hand. For when raiders come and smash shit. I don't like that you hold the door open for that. This area seems to hold temp. Even with... Well this one was open. But... She's visiting someone's grave. There you go. That's another reason to have a few graves around. <laughs> that and when you get those nice mental breaks to dig up a carcass. I mean, you wouldn't want to miss out on those, would you? <laughs> it's a little cavalier with replacing that wall because it's rice. So if I had inadvertently killed it. Oh well, we only get... I guess you get two or three. It's probably two and a half, so it flips back and forth between two and three. Either way, 130 granite blocks left. Running out of steam here on these replacements of walls. And sadly, that last dude didn't have... Is this steel? It is steel. That last bolt goods trader, quote unquote, didn't have anything legit for me in terms of blocks. Where are you headed now? Okay, we could probably open this one back up. It seems like the bigger space you have, the more stable the temperatures stay. So I found that a little bit interesting. All right, good, yet. Yeah. And we're going to have to leave probably two of these open. No, not the steel. The wall. Oh, my God, how frustrating. <laughs> okay, there you go. Can we get them all with that? We can't. There you go. How's that fucking with my temps? No, it's just fine. Our bonsai trees have grown. Does it get more beautiful as it grows? No. 17 is 17 across the board. And that's it. I turned off her meditation. I don't really care if she does that. Since we don't have any abilities yet. I thought you always got a free ability. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what's up with that. But whatever. Why don't you haul all that steel? Thanks. Before it gets trapped back there, we can't use it. Oh yeah, you just haul everything. That's a good idea. It's almost the warmest part of the year here, so... There's just nothing. There's just been like zero useful events. That's really sad. 
But at least we have stuff to do. She really doesn't flub construction in the winter. It's kind of fantastic. <laughs> Let's see how she does with plants in the winter. I guess we can turn this off just to make her life a little more difficult. But until we get them replanted, I'd prefer if they all grew at the same rate. Hi, hi, hi. I've been mostly relying on the cold to keep us safe. But at some point, we're going to have to come up with some more legitimate defenses. So that's something that needs to be thought about. Next time we get a bunch of blocks, I should probably start enclosing at least the stuff. And we have to figure out. There's going to have to be some form of kill box with some turrets because she's not going to fight off a centipede. Like when those bastards start showing up, we got to get, or we got to have something in place that's going to make it so we don't get our asses killed right away. A drum party opportunity. I haven't done any of the ritual shit. She hasn't really committed to a religion at this point, so, or an ideologian, as it were, but. All right, there we go. Those are all on the grid. Indeed, they have their own little space. We have 60 blocks left, so we can still continue to do something with them. I was going to start swapping these out one at a time. The problem is the roof, so I don't want to get too overzealous with dicking around, <laughs> removing those. Um, but there's plenty around here, too. Probably, I don't know if it makes more sa more sense to try to keep this stuff safe. Or our food growing area is safe. I think we can, if we just start at the north and work our way around, doesn't probably matter too much. How's our bonsai tree doing? 69% grown. That's pretty cool. Like once it's there, we'll just get two wood every 15 days, which obviously isn't fantastic, but it's better than nothing. Uh, I'm, I'm not... After these jobs, I think that we're going to be done. That's going to take 40 of those. We're going to have 20 left. We should keep some on hand. Repairing any issues caused by butt heads. And then... There you go. So what do we end up with for steel? 373. If only we had a miner. We could, we'd could. we have extra granite. We'd have extra slate. Grr. I'm going to let her just frick around and clean for a while. That's going to be important. Everything's so disgusting. So we could now flesh out a second bedroom, at least with heaters. There's a young beggar who needs aid. And they just, oh, another kid. Like he's got a teardrop tattoo. <laughs> it's phenomenal. And the 23 silver. Thanks for bringing that, dummy. You're toast. Can I even strip the dude? I don't know. It's going to piss off the beggars, but I don't really give a shit. Is he, like, he has absolutely no skill. This just isn't the type of playthrough. How long is he going to last? Long enough for me to walk out there? Take his... This is just a... Kabutni. Southeast Kabutni. It's the beggars, man. Good. I don't think we're going to make it there in time anyway. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the stuff, Darl. I was just watching Coming to America last night. One of the antagonists, Daryl. The heir to the soul glow fortune. Yeah, Traveler was indeed betrayed. We stripped a freaking like three-year-old kid and stole his clothes because we're just horrible, shitty people. All right, so somebody's here to... Murderize us. I really wanted to get things clean. There's four of them this time. I don't know why that's ramped up so much. You could say we've dramatically reduced wealth from where it was, where it peaked at 42,000, roughly. We're at 36 and a half, roughly. Um, they all have bows, too. Uh, I can't overly risk them splitting up. I'm going to definitely slow the shit down. They are imps, so hopefully they're more affected by the cold than other other people would be. 11%. This is like my only hope. We have to literally start focusing on some decent level. Nope. It's going to be a fight. At least they haven't been pounding Gojuice wide open, I suppose. Hopefully there's no cover for them. All right. 
who's doing the best with the temp? Because that's the person we want to shoot first. Uh, yeah. Oh, that dude's doing poor. 17%. All right, so don't shoot that top person. Well, maybe they'll be more inclined to go down. We can't have them burning our shit down. All right, that dude's been shot. They're going to smash that fucking door. They're going to smash this. As long as they don't start fire to anything important, it doesn't really matter. I'm tempted to go get a club. What's our melee ability here? Not very good. Let's sneak out down over here. Fuck, if he starts bashing on that door. No, he's not. Oh, they're coming this way. So far, no fires, no loss. If we could just keep luring them along like this, we'll be just fine. This place, they're going to have some cover from our own walls. So that's one reason to square shit off, right? All right, dick. Take that. <laughs> we can just shoot. That guy's got cover, so. Nice work. There's some fucking jade, buddy. Where's the other one? Coming around behind us. I wouldn't be opposed to undergrounder. Mining, massive passion, serious hypothermia. <laughs> so their capacities are sorely reduced at this point. And ours is fantastical. Not that we couldn't get shot. That fucker dropped their bow. Which So stop shooting at that dude. Uh, if this dick wants to get feisty with my... Uh, okay, that person's taking frostbite. So they're going to be toast soon. Shoot that dude. Hey, man. All right. Are we that bad at shooting as well? Okay, that dude's shooting me from the side. Are you a good shot? Not really. Some risks are just going to have to be taken here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that dude just walked in the way. Sadly, we don't get their gear, but... Ah, they actually, their gear wasn't all, like, super worn out or anything, so... It would have been nice to have... Something to sell. Am I on the verge of destroying a wall? No. That one got close. Oof, so did that one. Who's going to be easier to hit? I don't know. I shouldn't be standing right in the open here. I'm tempted to go inside for a moment. Break cover. Haul ass. So, undraft. Strip. That one went down from the cold, and then we're going to chase over here and strip this dude. And we have a few graves. Dang getting away, fucker. Oh, nice, a bulk goods trader. So let's round up what gear we can. Call that dude. All right, undraft. I want those bows. All right, I'm going to round all that stuff up. Allow. We're going to go inside and call the bulk goods trader. I should have definitely checked these people's tough, slow learner, very neurotic. That's why he held out so long. And then whatever to speeds us up, if the ship leaves before I have the ability to call it, I'm going to be most pissed off. All right. Bam. We don't want to sell any meat. Ambrosia can go. Arguably, we could do something awesome with the jade. But, I mean, what are we talking about here? No, that's way too much cash, not the... Not to pass it all on. And any clothes we have, unless it's something I've been sitting on for a while. Like, good thing we stripped that kid. We made a few bucks off his shit, off his life. But he was dead anyway. He was dead the moment he showed up here. Sheep, sheep wool sash, 4.7 degrees. Mega sloth wool, 6.1. Well, that answers that. I like that you can pile on the clothing now. That didn't used to be a thing, and I think it makes things a little bit easier. So we need to look for blocks. We need to look for... Where the hell did we get these things? This one she probably made. Clearly, I should have been focusing on... All right, Cloth Parker can go. Muffalo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell this one. We're going to keep a bison wool and a heavy fur parka around. We need 10 plasteel to build the multi-analyzer. So that's priority. There you go. Um, they have blocks. They have sandstone and they have slate. Uh, that's going to be massive. I might buy some wood. It says we have 136 wood. Actually, I'm not going to buy any wood. I'm going to just skirt through here and make sure I'm not missing something important that we require. All right, I think in the interest of security, 
I'm going to buy, oh shit, that's not the one I wanted. The sandstone was actually tougher. You can see the value because it'll tell you max hit points, 140% when it's made out of this. And then slate was only 130%. So in this case, seems weird, but sandstone it is. And that's all the money we have in the universe. Uh, I'm not buying any meat. We can't use the meat. The meat's just been sitting. We can't make fine meals. We don't have the skill yet. So piss on it. I did, I did buy some components because we're going to use like eight of them straight away here. There you go. Components are important. Plasteel is important. Let's beat it back up. And let's go ahead and miss multi-analyzer. Pop it down. We should have everything we need. I keep I keep saying I'm gonna get her to clean and blah blah blah. We're actually gonna need some more graves as well. But people keep asking me why I'm not just dumping the bodies in the water. I don't know. I think it's just interesting to see how many people you end up putting in the ground by the end of the game. Plus, she's using it for recreation periodically. Is this food ready? This should be top priority if it is. All right, negative one twenty-seven. The middle of summer so the warmest morning of the year i suppose um i'm still liking the idea of building another bed i don't know that we can really do it but i mean our construction skill is dramatically improved from when she built that but that and that is built out of silver what's the value on it versus what we would get back market value is only 340 bucks what do you think i'd get if i deconstructed that what if i made a copy of it it's 450 to build. We're not going to get that back, though. This place is a bloody mess. Please leave me a like if you are enjoying. Leave a comment. I do read them all. I do respond. I appreciate you guys being with me today. It has been intriguing. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. That opens some massive doors for us. The rice will be ready in the morning.